to the uplifting and intimate journey for one family, revealing the lengths they and their courageous medical team are willing to go to save one precious life. The fourth ever post-COVID lung transplant in the U.S. Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang with this rare look inside the high-stakes operation. This is the harrowing twilight between life and death. But Leslie Viatoro is a quiet, steely fighter, a solemn pillar of strength who has tirelessly stood by her husband's side, even as doctors said he may never recover from COVID. Now her Goliath determination and faith have landed them here, desperately awaiting a rare and risky final shot at life, a COVID double lung transplant. Transplant is always should be the, the option of last resort. Your lungs are pretty badly damaged from the virus. A couple months into the pandemic, COVID ripped through their Washington, D.C. home. First Leslie's son, then Leslie, and then their daughter Gabby, all with relatively mild symptoms. But then Leo got sick. It wasn't long before he was hospitalized, put on a ventilator. And one day you get a call, he might only have hours to live. Pero mi fe le dije, Está que él no se va a morir. Though he's free of COVID, the damage to his lungs was done. Dr. Ankit Bharat of Northwestern Memorial Hospital is spearheading this effort. He was the first ever to try this surgery on a COVID patient in the U.S. Because Leo's case is so dire, he's already at the top of Northwestern's transplant list. It could happen at any minute. While Leo waited for new lungs in Chicago, his heart was back home in D.C. <laughs> His teenage daughters, Gabby and Camilla, FaceTiming as much as possible. What was the hardest part for you? It was just like him gone and my mom gone too. It was just a lot. But just six days after Leo was listed for transplant, Let's do this. there's word of a potential donor. This is from the donor hospital. Lung looks fine, Dr. Ra. All right, that's great. You know, so the, the lungs are usable and it's going to be a go. Today's the day. The operation will last about 10 to 12 hours. Performing a double lung transplant on a COVID patient is very complex. And we just discovered that his heart is really weak and struggling because of the, the lung failures. Back at the donor hospital, Leo's new lungs are removed from the deceased donor. They have to go into Leo's body within six hours. These are Leo's lungs, yeah. But with the new lungs en route, the old ones are creating major problems. As the team works to remove Leo's old left lung, he starts to bleed significantly. Despite the massive blood loss. Look a blood back here, man. Doctors are able to remove the lung. Very critical right now. As soon as the second lung went in, everything started to get better. His heart is contracting better. All the bleeding stopped. Thank you, man. I really, this was not easy, man. Thank you. Leo will spend six more months in Chicago to remain under Dr. Barat's care. Hello, how are you doing? You are the best. Yeah, you are the best. This singular life saved among hundreds of thousands, providing endless reasons for hope. Wow, what an incredible story. We want to thank Juju for sharing that with us. And you can see more of Leo's inspiring journey on tonight's Nightline. Be sure to check that out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.